Hey guys, it's GTA Technology, and welcome to another installment in the Minecraft uh, bucket plugin creation series. Um, right now, I'm going to show you how to set up your bucket server for localhost, so you can test it out locally, uh, which won't use any bandwidth, and uh, that way you'll have a quick way to test out your plugins. So we're going to go to your internet client browser and go to bucket.org. Once you're there, you'll notice the recommended builds in the top right. Click on the first one that's uh, got the description below it. And then under build artifacts, right click that download and go to, hold on, go to download file as. All right, and you're going to call it bucket.jar. Now once you've done that, you're going to find a nice place to put the bucket.jar, which is where your server will be held. So I'm just going to make a quick folder called server. I'm going to save it in there. Alright, so now pull up terminal. Okay, so now that we're in terminal, um, or whatever command prompt that you have, Go ahead and cd into the directory. cd means change directory, so um, just do cd server. If you don't know how to cd over to your server, you might need to do a little bit of Linux research and just find out what the path is. On uh, Lion, you can see the path up at the top, unless that's like a preference, like something you set in the preferences, which I may have done. Um, I don't think I did. You'll see the full path in the top area in line. So if you saved it in your main folder, it would be slash users slash your name, username slash server. Now, if you are um, using Windows, Linux, Linux is the same, but if you're using Windows, you may have a different way of launching your server. But feel free to use it this way. I'm just showing how to set it up. Once you have your server ready, just type once you're in the directory of your server, just type Java XMX go with 500 megs XMS 500 megabytes and jar bucket dot jar. This will launch our bucket dot jar in Java form. Let's press the return key. There we go. You can see in the left it's starting to add all the files, preparing the world. 500 megabytes isn't too much of a RAM, so it may show a few air, like uh, warnings that the server is going too slow, but that won't matter because we're not going to be doing heavy testing on this or using it regularly. Right now it's using localhost, which means you can't access it outside of this computer, and it's not using your ISP. You could turn off your internet, and uh, it wouldn't make a difference. All right. So now that it's done, we can test it out and make sure that it works. Go to multiplayer and just type in localhost and press connect. If you get a failed to bind port message when you're launching your server, it probably means that you've already launched another localhost server. It's going to have low frame rate right now just because I'm recording my screen and running a lot of other programs. But as you can see, it does work. The lag will be almost none, just because you know you're not contacting a server outside of your house. You're contacting your own house, so be happy with the lagless experience. Uh, the only reason you'd see lag at the moment is because it's loading all these chunks. So that is how you set up your bucket server. So we will be using this to test out our plugin. So check out episode three to learn how to actually start working on this plugin again. Thanks for watching.